with Vince News in a nutshell. Your fortnightly guide to all that's happening in MINDEF and the SCF in under 5 minutes. Here's what happened from the 29th of February to the 13th of March. An integrated and capable SCF is needed to protect Singapore, and in the face of evolving threats to security, the SCF must continue to modernize and develop new capabilities. That was President Tony Tan King Yam's message during his visit to Changi Naval Base. The RSN, the SCF, will have to build uh, and work towards uh, developing a suite of capabilities able to conduct not only military operations, but also, as they call it, operations other than war and also to play their part in the defence of Singapore. Dr Tan toured the Republic of Singapore Navy's formidable class frigates and archer class submarine and learned more about the capabilities of both vessels. He was also briefed on the sea-air integration between the frigates and the Air Force's Seahawk naval helicopters. The visit was particularly meaningful for Dr Tan as he had initiated the frigate and submarine programs during his tenure as Minister for Defence. The Army Battlefield Internet, enhanced by the software defined radio or SDR, was commissioned by Minister for Defense Dr. Ng Eng Hin at a ceremony in Stagmont Camp held in conjunction with the Signal Formation's 50th anniversary parade. With a higher bandwidth of up to four times the conventional hardware radio, it will now be possible for ground troops to simultaneously talk, send files, images and videos to the Brigade and Division Headquarters. With the software defined radio, the tracking of our forces and marking of enemy targets and positions will be embedded within the images and videos that can be shared among commanders and ground troops. Our soldiers will therefore see more accurately, sooner and target with greater precision. So with the sending of, of uh, photos, of uh, videos, um, as a commander I'm able to make more informed decisions of exactly what my troops are going through and uh, make sure the decisions I make are relevant for them as well through the course of the battle. It was a poignant moment for all gathered at the Confrontasi Memorial as they honoured the soldiers and volunteers who protected Singapore and remembered those who lost their lives during those turbulent years. 51 years ago, a deadly bomb attack struck the nearby McDonald House, a grim reminder that we should never take our peace and security for granted. Speaking at the memorial ceremony, Senior Minister of State for Defence Dr. Mohammad Maliki bin Osman emphasised the importance of total defence and that everybody must play their part to keep Singapore secure and resilient against the evolving threat of terrorism. There is no doubt that we are in an ongoing fight against terrorism. This will be a long battle, one for the hearts and minds of our people. But if we stand together, and have the resolve to defend our way of life from those who seek to hurt and divide us, we will triumph. Terrorism is happening all around. Uh, we may not know what might happen next. So we have to always take this seriously so that we can continue living peacefully and not lose any loved ones and always know that there's a future for us. 1,174 Specialist Cadets received their chevrons at the 26th Specialist Cadet Graduation Parade held at Pasi Lapa Camp. In his opening speech, Senior Minister of State for Defence Dr. Muhammad Maliki bin Osman reminded the graduates of the important role they play in Singapore's defence. For more details on these stories, visit mindef.gov.sg. Now let's check out what's buzzing on our social media channels. Protecting our sea lines of communication is especially vital for a maritime nation like Singapore. The Navy recently concluded bilateral exercises with Malaysia and Indonesia where they conducted maritime security and conventional warfare training. These long-running exercises enhance interoperability and cooperation between the RSN and the navies of Malaysia and Indonesia and are a testament to the warm and long-standing ties between the countries. Check out the Navy's Facebook page for more on Exercise Malapura and Exercise Eagle Indopura. Loading bombs and missiles onto a fighter jet in record time is no mean feat, even more so when it's done consistently. The RSAF load team from Peace Carvin 5 Detachment prevailed over their counterparts from the United States and won the coveted Load Crew of the Year award for the seventh consecutive year. Visit the Air Force's Facebook page to find out more. Building our Singapore of tomorrow. The theme for this year's National Day Parade has been revealed and it calls on all Singaporeans to build our future together. Also, check out the logo for NDP 16 and the symbolism behind the hearts and handwritten font. 
Log on to Cyber Pioneer's Facebook page for more details and keep an eye out for upcoming public activities and updates on the celebrations. Well, that's our defense news in a nutshell. Get to know us more through one of our social media channels. This is Mike from Power98, signing off.